Another way to intercept input property change is to use the engine changes lifecycle hook. The engine changes is called whenever a change happens to any data binding property. The method receives a simple changes object of current and previous property values. Let's see how we can use engine changes in an example. If we have a scenario where we have a parent component with some users that are being passed into a child component and that child component displays those users and if we want to listen for changes on one of those users, for example, if a property changed like the name, we can use the engine changes to detect those changes and act upon the new value. You need to be very wise where you might be using the engine changes. You might want to use engine changes if you're acting upon multiple changes from your input binds. In the following example, you might be better off using a setter instead of engine changes, but the idea of this video is to understand how engine changes works. Let's see what we're gonna be building today. We have a parent component that will send a bunch of users to a child component, and at a certain period of time, we will make a change to one of those users. Now using the engine changes, we will capture the change and we can act upon that change. We will be adding a text with a value of updated next to that user. To use the engine changes method, first we need to implement the onChanges interface. Next we need the engine changes method, and this will take a simple changes parameter. Simple changes is an object that has a property for each input defined in our component. In our component, those properties will be name and age. Next we will add an updated property that we can use to show a text of updated next to the user's name when the name changes and I'm gonna use a console color property to style the console logs. So to target our input property change inside the engine changes method, we can use a for loop and then we'll check if there are any available properties, which in our case should be name and age. And after that, we can use a switch statement to get our name property change. Now here we're gonna log the current value, the previous value and the is first change value. Next, we can set up the updated to is not the first change. Template for this component is simple. We render the name and we have the updated span if the change is not a first change. In the parent component, we have the users and an update name method that we will use when we click a button to change one of the user's name. And in the template, we just loop over the users and call our child component and we add the button with the updated name method. Now let's run this in our browser and as you can see we have a print for all of the changes and we have access to the current value, the previous and the is first change values. Now if you click this button the change will be applied and as you can see we have the new value and the previous value and the is first change now it's false. That is all for this one guys, hope you enjoyed, post your comments, questions and suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next one.